Hello boys and girls, welcome to another installment of MR2 Spider for Dummies. This means you. Just kidding. I'm going to cover an important topic which is the 2ZZ swap harness. Okay, swapping a 2ZZ engine into a 1ZZ chassis means that you have to account for the differences in ECU terminal pinouts between the 1ZZ ECU and the 2ZZ ECU. Okay. I'm looking at a useful item here. We're looking at a useful item which is a monkey wrench racing swap harness. This swap harness um, goes between the 1ZZ engine harness and two additional connectors from the body harness. Okay, it goes between that and the 2ZZ ECU. And it makes the swap a plug and play affair. Very easy to do. There's an alternative to using the MWR swap harness, which is to repin the terminals of the ECU. I'm going to briefly discuss how that is done. And then I'm going to show you a chart that you can use as reference to repin your own ECU terminals. So as I've said, there are two connectors, two connectors that come from the engine harness and then there are two additional connectors that come from the body harness and they all plug into the ECU. Okay, in the 2ZZ ECU we have some additional connectors for lift. These are the three additional connectors for lift right here and they go into the engine bay and plug in to the lift OCV oil control valve or solenoid and the lift oil pressure sensor which is this one okay so these have to be added into the appropriate positions of the ECU connector all right and then in addition another difference between the 1ZZ and the 2ZZ is that you have three connectors or four connectors rather that come from the engine harness that have to be rerouted into the body harness okay so to assist you in doing this I've made a chart here is the chart and it shows exactly which wires go where on the engine side we have the lift sensor wires and then on the body connectors that go into the 2ZZ ECU you take wires from the uh, engine harness connector you de-pin them and you move them to the corresponding location on the 2ZZ on the body harness okay so they would be going into the body harness connectors that plug in right here um, you don't even need to know what these do all right all you have to do is follow this color coded diagram in addition I've grayed out all of the pins that are not used so you can just deepen them and remove them if they are not deepened and removed already and this helps to avoid any conflicts in the wiring okay in a follow-up video I will show you exactly how you deepen the harness connectors and then repin them but that's it for this video hope this helps you thanks for watching